All right, everybody, welcome to Bayhawks basketball. Where else would you rather be on a Tuesday evening than right here at Bishop Conley High School? As we get set for this matchup between the Bristol Community College Bayhawks and Springfield Technical Community College. How are you doing, everybody? Happy Tuesday. I'm David Cardoza, and I'm joined by Miss Meg. Meg. <laughs> you made sure that she filled that in so I didn't... Uh, <laughs> I got you. You didn't trust me. Okay, so we're getting set for tip-off here on sophomore night. 
It's uh, tough to believe that another basketball season is uh, winding down. Bristol Community College coached by Jay Hanley. He actually got a uh, coach of the week. Yeah, Coach Jay Hanley in his first season as the women's basketball coach has done a superb job in his uh, rookie campaign. And He's Bristol Community College in the first half of the season had eight wins. This so, I mean. They actually broke the record for uh, wins for a women's basketball team for Bristol Community College. You know what? That's a, that's a fact. That's a fun fact I did not know, Megan. Fun fact of the day. Fun fact of the day. All right, Bristol in their gray and white uniforms and Springfield Technical, Technical Community College. I say in that five times fast. In the maroon with the yellow trimming. Springfield wins the tap. Okay, Bristol in zone, kicking it to the corner. Want to thank our Facebook audience for joining us on our live stream and a lay-in by Springfield Tech, bringing the ball up. Atia Rivera in the corner to Katera James with the miss. Bristol ends up back with it. Rivera puts up a floater and gets it. Nice. Atia Rivera, the point guard. Rivera's coming off a 25-point game. She's uh, the second leading scorer for this team right now. Yes, she is, and the floor general. And there's another, there's another make by Springfield Tech. 4-2 here in the early going. Here's James on the wing, going baseline. And she's going to get the foul. James actually broke a record last game, 51 points. Most, record, most points for women uh, playing women's basketball. In Bristol Community College. You're coming up. You're spitting all the facts today, Actually, Megan. I did my homework. How about the eight three-pointer performance in the first half last week by Katera James? She's definitely has stepped up to be the leader of this team with Fortin. Well, right now, yeah. Right now, she is the leading scorer for this Bristol Bayhawks team as she sinks both free throws there. Well, they're competing right now to uh, for the third spot in the playoffs. The women's basketball team. Yeah, and if they can, uh, if they can play well down the stretch, I mean, they'll be there. Three pointer from the wing is no good. Well, they're coming off a uh, three game winning streak. Rivera, nice pass to Katara James underneath, nice. and draws the foul, and she'll go back to the line. James been getting to the basket all season. So yeah, like I was saying, Bristol's coming off a th uh, three-game winning streak, and it wasn't easy. They four games, four games straight away, and they took care of business. Yeah, because they struggled here at home in our last couple contests that we've done, Megan. So it's great to hear that they're on a little bit of a winning streak because James makes the first one. Yeah, they have 500, uh, 500 home team, and five and three away. Better away. Yeah. Putting some uh, full court pressure there is Bristol. That last foul was on Essence Richardson. Three-pointer coming off, rebounded by Abby Hurley. Rivera in the open court, looking to push. Gets into the lane, kicks it back out. Sagan, and they're gonna call for travel. For a travel. Six-four, the home team. This is coming off a big win, 103 to 31. Wow. Yeah. It's a lot of points. It is. See if they can uh, replicate tonight. I think Bristol just trying to adjust, losing their leading scorer, Jada Fortin. They did and, a um, good job. Yeah, and implemented some new parts. Well, James knows to get to the basket. Rivera can get to the basket if they uh, if they space the floor. She has the speed. And then you have the people who do little things in Hurley and Marshall. It's all about the little things. Bristol playing some good D, 12 on the shot clock. Richardson, the floater is good. I'm sorry, Brianna Hilton, Hinton. 6-6, six, six. Rivera crosses over, gets it knocked away, stolen away by Hinton. Hinton going the other nice. way, nice defensive play there. Nice play by Marshall, get back on D. Great job by the Marshall. Mm -hmm. Trying to cross over, a little sloppy play here. Looking to drive, nice drive, the floater, no good, rebounded by Abby Hurley. Nice the job for Hurley, get her hands up there. KJ looking to push, bounce pass in the corner, 
Nice little drive and floater. Tip back out, James. Bristol all over the boards. Good job by Hurley to get the put back. Staying with it. Abby Hurley does a great job on the offensive boards. Gets, like, gets a lot of points on putbacks. Here's a little trap at a half court. I like her composer so far. I know it's a, a really early, but she's not rushing it like she, like she did before. She's definitely learning. Yeah, that last basket by Abby Hurley, she really took her time to really, you know, focus on uh, the basket. Not, not rushing it, like you said, no. and putting it off the glass with good touch. It's all about the touch. Yep, nice crossover there. Bounce pass into the paint and scoring it. Got to get more people, more bodies in front. Abby Marshall with the drive. And they're going to call it travel. I respect Marshall for being aggressive there, but I think they should uh, maybe pass it a little bit. They, they had the people on the inside. She had the lane. Marshall's been a lot, a lot more aggressive lately. Well, they needed it at times. And there's a miss there by Springfield. Rivera looking to push, as she always is, you buzzing like a bee. Me, Kicks it back me. out. Three-pointer coming off. Rebounded by Katera James. Bristol all over the boards. We've seen Chopper make that before. She's very capable. Chopper. Also, yeah. also a player, a uh, nice addition to the Bayhawks. Came a little later in the season, but uh, definitely been a nice role player for them. Rivera thought about three. Going into the lane, the floater. No good. Marshall with the offensive rebound. Chopper driving. Can't connect on the layup, but a nice take there by Chopper. It's a good job finding the lane. She just, you just got to finish it there. Gotta I think put Abby, the icing on the, on the cake. I think Abby Chopper definitely has the offensive skills. She just, um, it's, it's some, oh, that nice inbound play there. Pass by Marshall. Chopper couldn't connect on the putback attempt. And in the open court is Hinton. Kicks it back out. Nice defense by Rudy. Oh, oh stolen nice. by Chopper getting into the passing lane. Seems Chopper loses control of it. Nice dish to Rivera with the left hand. Puts it up and in. Good job there. Good heads up play there by Chopper to scoot it back to Rivera. Defense leads to offense. Coach Hanley pressing here. Oh, nice, nice steal there. Back to back. Back to back. James thought about the three. Good job there, jumpers. Mm -hmm. No good. Hurley's there. <laughs> Hurley just got the touch right now. The ball just keeps finding her, and she's playing in the basket. Abby Hurley for two. 12-8. Bristol has the lead. Almost halfway through this first quarter. Bristol doing a lot of trapping. That's an open jumper. James going to get position there. Loose ball. Rivera going down for it. And it's going to stay Springfield ball. You can always count on Rivera to make the hustle plays. It's interesting to see, though, Bristol going to uh, full court defense. And it's it's uh, definitely yeah, making a seen. yeah definitely making amends. Yeah, they are forcing uh forcing Spring Tech to uh, rush decisions and make mistakes. Jumper in the corner is way off. Rebounded by Katara James. I think that was a pass to James. James looking to push. Puts it up off the glass. Nice. Wow, good job to keep keep composure and put that one off the glass. Katara James above two defenders there. Yeah, that was good body control there by KJ. She loves that right side. Hinton loses it. James looking to push. Oh, nice pass. Oh, good job by Rivera to catch it. Put it up off the glass oh, and in. Nice. Sweet. Nice little underhand flip. That was a nice gift from uh, James to Rivera. And Rivera pay, uh, paid off this little slit. Little layup there. Nice little layup there by Rivera. We're going to take a break here at 16 to 8, 425 to play here in the first quarter. We'll take a break right here on FR Media. We'll be right back. I always knew I wanted to go to college. I just didn't know how or when. Bristol gave me the flexibility to balance work, family life, and the things I love to do. I was able to transfer and get a bachelor's degree in the field I am passionate about. Bristol helped me so I can help others. Working as a mentor and a coach, I know I'm making a difference. And I'm able to show my kids and others the value of a college education. It's never too late. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. All right, welcome back, everybody, to Bishop Conley High School, home of the Bishop Conley High School Cougars, and also the home of your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. 
16-8. Bristol putting a lot of pressure on um, Springfield Technical Community College right now. Yes. Forcing, <laughs> forcing turnovers, doing a great job getting on the boards and um, getting to all the 50-50 balls. Bristol coming out with a lot of energy. And that's good to see here on sophomore night. What if I aim for a playoff spot? Spring Tech, you know, they're out of the playoffs, but you can, but Bristol's not trying to have the same fate and playing with energy right now. It's only four, they have four minutes left in the first quarter, a little bit over four minutes. But well, this, this is crunch time in the season. You're talking February. It's a big time for college basketball. Teams trying to jockey in, jockey for position. Come the postseason, come late February, come early March. Drive into the basket and... Rivera, it looks like we get a. We'll see who the foul is on. Rivera, see so how got a little bit, a little bit of the arm there, trying to steal the ball. A little bit of a reach-in foul, going to be her first. Chop is coming back in for Hurley. It was a little, a little bit small here. Bristol in zone, there's a floater coming off, rebounded by Katara James, who loses it. And we're going to have a foul here on Bristol. I know they're a little small on the inside, but they got to they gotta make sure they don't get in foul trouble here, because that can, that can definitely turn things around. 16-8, but... If uh, Spring Tech just keeps going to the basket and getting fouls, this can be a closer game. Bristol's doing, doing a good job playing defense, though. First yeah. free throw was good. I feel like Rivera is an underrated defender a little bit. I know she's small, but she, she, goes, she gets after it. Yeah, she's feisty. Yeah. Doesn't give much space. Second free throw is good. 16 to 10. India Coat has come in for Bristol. Marshall, Amaya Marshall has taken a seat. Chopper. Ooh, had the right thought. False kick, three-pointer by James. No good. And it goes back, it ends up back in the hands of the Bayhawks. Chopper loses it. They rested a little bit And it's going to go out of bounds. It's going to be off Chopper. They rested a little bit there. They didn't get, they didn't get reset. But James took Callum Billy, so that's on me. That's what you want to see from your leader. Crossing over, Brianna Hinton from the free throw line, no good. Loose ball, corralled by James. Gonna get it out on the break. Rivera, nice little pass nice. there. Oh, nice. wow. Nice pass there by Rivera, and nice heads up. By Chopper. Nice quick shot there by Chopper to get it up and in. Well, she definitely needs to see one go in. Hopefully this gets her going. Nice old bounce pass, nice way to create there. 18 to 12, three minutes to play here in the quarter. James about thought about it, puts it up. James thought about it. No good. And we have a jump ball here. Possession arrow in favor of, of Bristol. Good quarter today. Yeah. Um, good quarter so far by the Bayhawks. I like what I see. Definitely competing hard. They don't have they don't have a deep bench, but the players they do have, they I mean, I feel like everyone contributes. In some way, yes. Yeah. And they're going to say it's Springfield basketball now, the Rams. I'm very impressed with this uh, women's basketball team. 12-7 and seven is this season so far. Best record for women's uh, basketball for Bristol. Dump it in. Hinton. Hinton. That pass went Ari. Rivera. Oh, Ooh. gets that pass stolen back by Hinton. Hinton going back the other way. Nice dish. Puts it up and in. You're not going to see Rivera make that stake too often. But uh, that was nice, nice eyes by, uh, by her to get to find Chopper. Just didn't have enough air. Here's KJ in the corner. Kicks it over to Chopper at the free throw line. Takes it. Nice, nice. take there. Nice drive by Chopper. And Chopper's getting going. Chopper's getting to the lane more. She usually uh, is a mid-range, tries a three-point shooter. but Hints a nice little quick step there. Nice pass. Oh, Hinton doing a good job breaking down the defense in addition. Well, this, 20 to 16. Well, with Hurley out, they're a little bit undersized in, in interior for interior defense. Yeah, they missed that intimidating presence. Yeah. James with the runner. Can't get it to fall. 
I like the way Brianna Hinton for Springfield, I like the way she runs the offense. He has no rush, calms down, let him, let him set. Bristol playing no defense right now. That's a free lane. And a lousy foul there, and the Rams will be going to the line. Well, they got, they got away from the, the trap, full trap uh, defense they were doing earlier, a little bit earlier. It's only uh, one minute left, a little bit over one minute left in um, the first quarter. But around, uh, we saw early in the first quarter, they were doing full court defense, and they got away from it a little bit. I wonder if that, that tired them out. Well, yeah, I think you get to pick your spots when you're when you're talking about doing full court defense. you know full court yeah. press you know something that you can't do the whole time, especially with the lack of bodies that they have. Yes. So you need to uh, you know his first quarter right now has definitely been effective, but I'm sure Coach Jay Hanley will reach back into his pockets and pull it out when he needs to if he has to. 20 to 17, second free throw is good. Coming up in a minute and a half to play here in the quarter. Coat looked like she wasn't expecting, expecting that, that pass, pass, and then she'll try. Uh, the referee will call travel there. A little miscommunication. Even though they're out of the playoffs, Sprint, Sprint Tech is not, no, they not a bad some, team. No, they got some good players. Erica Sams over to Hinton. Bristol in zone. Corner three is way off. Mm -hmm. Coat. With the rebound. A little bit more, a little bit too much air on that one. A little bit too much air. <laughs> Here's Chopper, wide open three. That rainbow jumper is no good. They have to respect that more. We've seen Chopper make that. Rebounded by Selena Pereira. That pass way out of bounds. Pereira putting a lot of air I would say that might over be a, there. That might be a theme of this game so far. It seems like the ball is a little too high, a little too uh, far. Yeah, it's like a balloon. Yeah. Under a minute to play, 2017. Here's Rivera. Looks like Bristol has a lot of open looks. Nice fake there by Chopper. Chopper with a short jumper, no good. Hurley with the rebound, and it's interesting. she's going to go to the line. It's interesting to see. It's six, seven games ago. Uh, well, before... Before uh, the semester started in January, we didn't see Chopper, and Chopper's now a, a key part in the offense. She's definitely become more of an integral part. We remember from her first game <laughs> to this game, she looks like she's really found a niche or found a role for herself, and she's, she's definitely feels more, more confident. confident. Yeah, you can you can see the confidence. She still she still has um, some areas to go, but hey. Second free throw season, made by Hurley. Half the season, first season, she's, I think she's doing a great job. And they're going to need her. They're going to need her to score. They're definitely going to need her to um, to put on more of an offensive role, missing Jada Fortin and her 35, 36 points a game. Hinton dumps it in. Back out. Sams drills a three. I'm sorry, Selena Pereira hits the three and pulls the Rams within two with 16.9 to go in the quarter. You that was a nice shot there by Selena Pereira. That was. Sophomore guard from East Long Meadow, Massachusetts, with the three. Now, even though they scored, you could see the difference when Hurley was in. The just getting her arms up, they forced them to pass back out. Yeah, yeah, even. definitely, definitely in the middle. She's definitely a presence. She's their leading rebounder, and she's a double-digit scorer. So I mean, having her in there definitely makes a difference. <laughs> we seen it in the last game that we broadcasted when they took Abby Hurley out in the second half. It was a very immense. Very immense difference and allowed the other team to get back into it and ultimately win that game. So. If she has a good game, Bayhawks have a good game. Yeah. Yes. Missing Jada Fortin <laughs> is, is huge. You miss all that, you know, you miss that power punch. Yeah. But you mix in, you know, Ab, you know uh, Abby Chopper, and she has the ability to score and shoot from the outside and take the ball to the basket. And then Abby Hurley's really stepped up her game yeah. on the inside. So you have a good little core. That can score. They have. Coat. Try to get it into Hurley. A little too much. And that ball sails out of bounds. It's going to be the Rams basketball. They'll hold for the final shot. Yeah, they have Eight and a half to, to shoot. They swing into the corner. Three-pointer. It's up. No good. Rebounded by Chopper. She'll hold it. And that's going to do it for the first quarter here in action. You're watching Bayhawks basketball here on FRC Media. You're a Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. We'll be right back with second quarter action right after this. I always knew I wanted to go to college. I just didn't know how or when. Bristol gave me the flexibility to balance work, 
family life, and the things I love to do. I was able to transfer and get a bachelor's degree in the field I am passionate about. Bristol helped me so I can help others. Working as a mentor and a coach, I know I'm making a difference. And I'm able to show my kids and others the value of a college education. It's never too late. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. All right, welcome back to the pressure cooker, everybody. And Definitely can feel it today. It is warm in here. Things are warming up 22 to 20. Things are warming up in this gym here in February, sophomore night for the uh, the women for the Bayhawks. They had a nice little introduction introduction there. On yeah, and players. it's been a good season, so yeah. definitely, um, you know, definitely uh, worth celebrating. Good night, yeah, definitely a good night to be to be honored here in front of friends and family, students, and um, they're not done. They are not done. We're probably. Uh, they are not done, and they're looking forward to, um, you know, <laughs> some tournament play. Something that the women's Bayhawks team has not played in in a handful of years. So, Coach Jay Hanley has done a good job. 22 to 20 is the score here. Yeah, this Springfield Technical Community College making the long ride up here to the south coast, Massachusetts. This team's definitely more uh, better built than previous teams. They you can definitely see, uh, see the talent. Well, that and they have players. Yeah. Coat catches it at the free throw line, gets it into the corner. That ball's stolen. Stolen by Richardson. Driving is Pereira with a little flip. No good. Good job by Coach to rebound it. Getting back on defense to Springfield. Looks like uh, Springfield playing middle man. James with a fake. Nice. Oh, I thought that was going to go yeah, in. Yeah, she couldn't get the bounce there. Bristol's getting a lot of open looks. Yeah. Here's it, Brianna Hinton. They're doing a good job getting back on defense, too. Stolen nice. away by Rivera. Rivera, I think she's looking for Chopper. Chopper puts it up with the left and in. Oh, nice. Good job. A couple times we saw that right this game. Nice one-two punch. They are becoming a little bit of a one-two punch. Rivera with some... Excellent passes, and Chopper doing a great job finishing around the rim. Floater no good. You can see Rivera last that play, communicating on defense, telling Chopper to get in more. Oh, nice crossover by James in the lane, breaking ankles, puts it up and nice. in. KJ for two. You think she could break out the, the record again? 51 points, that might be, uh, might be I tough. I don't know. I don't think that's going to be hard to top, that's for sure. 26 to 20. Pereira gets it into the corner. Hinton, jumper, nails it. She needs to take more of that. They definitely could use her. Uh, they could definitely use her offensively right now. In the final end. 22 points, though, 20 to 26. Eight minutes left in the second quarter. Rivera. And she gets that one knocked away by Pereira. Good. All right, here we go to inbound coat. Coat to rebound to inbound for Bristol. Nice good little ball movement by Bristol. Oh, Rivera has an easy floater there and she'll drain it. Nice. Springfield playing a little bit of a soft defense right now. Bristol's able to do whatever they want to do. Well, you can see Ooh, Bristol's nice. fighting for something. Good job to close up the uh, the middle there. Corner jumper, no good. Taken away, ripped away by James, pushing it up the left sideline. James into the lane, gets the contact, and they're going to call a blocking foul, and rightfully so, and KJ will go to the line 4-2. You know James is number three in uh, scoring in the NJCC. Oh, what's happening there? They call it. They're changing how the call. Gonna, how are you going to take that back and call an offensive? That was that was a very that's very late. It's very uh, suspect there. Do the referees even huddle together? I don't even think so. I think it's just. I think. Uh, that was not an offensive. That no. was not an offensive foul. She was not set. How can you change your mind like that? Well, on to the next play. On to the next possession. Yeah, you can see coach was three pointer, way off. Chopper. 
Looking for a point. Oh, goodness. Hurley. <laughs> I think they were trying to find Rivera there. Oh, another one. They call an elbow? And they're going to call an elbow on Katara James, and that's all of a sudden she's got two fouls, and that's not good to see. Hey, do you know the spread for this game? I want to see something. <laughs> spread. Spread in the NJCAA. Let's check Vegas. Kicking it back out, three-pointer. Rebounded by Hurley. Springfield not doing a good job oh, shooting from the outside. Rivera with her speed. Good job to get it out to Chopper. Chopper with the floater. Mm. And, wow, I thought James actually touched that, but mm -hmm. they um, Bristol deserves a call after the last, last two. Middle make up. couple times down the floor. Maybe the Coat up. finds Hurley at the free throw line, or We're just right. inside, misses. Hinton going back the other way, strong to the hole. Around that, Chopper, she scores two. That's where the offense is going to And she's got from. a couple words to say to the crowd. Rivera kicks it back out to Chopper. Rivera all alone. Seven on the shot clock. Got to get something going. Oh, Colton, a nice drive. And uh, puts it up and in. You don't see that much from Colton, but it's nice to see. Being aggressive there. I do, yeah. yeah. I, I did not expect that, Megan. I thought she, I was expecting her to kick it back out. She just kept going to the hole for two, yeah, 30 was, to 24. I thought she was going to pass it to Rivera, but she made the right decision there. This isn't there. It proved us wrong. Oh, nice pass hit by Hinton to get it to Sams. Offensive rebound, put back is no good. James slowing it down. I think right now Bristol has the better team speed. Nice drive to the hole. Rivera almost hit her patented little flip. Nice pass there by Richards. Oh, good, nice give and go there. But they, mm. STC can't, can't connect. Can't finish. This game's going up mm. and down. Yeah. Well, I wonder if they're going to start uh, double team double team in hitting because that's where the main, the main source of the offense has been coming from. But you get to watch hitting, though, because she can. Um, she can pass. She can, yeah, she can, she can penetrate and she can dish the others, so you can't. You can't put all the focus on her. No, but I think you can afford maybe two uh, two defenders on her. No, she don't. No. No, they're in zone right now. Two three zone. I like oh the three pointer by Hinton Ooh. way off the mark, wide left. Yeah, I think they just want to protect the paint right now. Uh, see if Spring uh, Spring Tech can beat them deep. And so. they're doing it. They're doing a good job of protecting the paint. They, they're because uh, Brianna Hinton she was. Um, she was doing a lot of damage getting into the paint and uh, getting in there and dishing and driving. Like I said, you put Hurley in there, it changes everything. Yeah, well, plus. And Coach Jay Hanley will call a timeout. Yeah, you talk about Abby Hurley and her presence in the middle, but also at the top, uh, Matia Rivera and Abby Chopper are doing a good job of closing up of closing up the gap in the, you know, in the paint there too mm -hmm. at the top. They're doing a good job using their size. On the perimeter. Yeah. Their perimeter defense is pretty good right now. Well, they're doing a good job getting their size, closing in, closing in, putting their hands up, doing everything they need to do defensively, and translating a couple steals led to a fast couple of fast breaks. The thing is, who else mm -hmm. is going to emerge? Who Who's going to emerge to be that solid, like, go-to score for them? Like, yeah. with Jada Fortin, you knew, like, you know, you had a great one-two solid punch yeah. of, like, two 30-point scores at will. Katera James and Jada Fortson. Unfortunately, well, you don't have that. It looks like Rivera. I mean, Rivera is definitely James capable. in the corner for three. Gets the nice. pounce. James is actually number one in a uh, three-point percentage in uh, NCJAA. You are full of facts. You are full of fun facts today. Forty, a little over 46%. Kick out to Hinton. The three is good. Nice response there from Spring Tech. Let's see if uh, looks nice like it's kick back out by there by Hopti. Chopper gets it down inside. Hurley, nice. easy two. Hurley bullying her way in there. Yeah, she definitely did. See, you definitely had the um. Oh, nice crossover, but the defense there. You were talking about earlier about they need to replace Fortin's offensive uh, 
production. I think they have to do that through a team effort. They have players with Chopper who's coming up, Hurley who's capable, and we've seen Rivera go off for over 20 points per game yeah. for a couple nights. So but I think Rivera is just so unselfish. In a way, I think that's a good thing. Around the perimeter, three-point shot, drain. It's good. Another one. By Brianna, Hinton. yeah, Brianna Hinton. She's got a quick release out there. She does a good job of running the offense and then shooting the three. That entry pass this time gets knocked away. Yeah. Bristol, for as well as they played, I think, in this first half, only lead by five. You can see his, uh, Hinton's IQ here. She, she knows the game basketball. She knows what plays yeah. to play at, what plays to make. Yeah, she definitely plays within herself. She, nice pass nice. there, nice look. But Hurley's there to put her hands up there. and Sam's just having a hard time getting anything close to the basket. Number one there. Yeah, she, um, yeah, well, down down low, she's not able to um, to get it up and over Hurley. That's for sure. And then she lacks. Seems like she's She lacks a little bit, bit of the. Um, Composure? You know, yeah, well, that and the height. Yeah. And give it up some size to Hurley. Under four minutes to play. Five-point lead for the Bayhawks. Driving and kicking back out. Richardson over Hurley. Just as I said, she wasn't able to go over Hurley. She just went over Hurley, so she must have heard me. I think, yeah, I think she heard us. Rivera dribbling into the paint. Puts the floater up. I don't know how she gets it off. This time no good, though. Hinton looking to push. Hinton going around James, but can't connect. Nice rebound there by Hurley. James going back the other way. As oh, she's falling nice. away, she puts it up off the glass. Beautiful shot. Kissing it for two. On that right side, man, it's almost guaranteed that James is going to make the basket, no matter who you have in front of her. All right, we're warmed up now, ladies and gentlemen. That floater by Richardson, oh, no good. James. Rivera gets it out to James, catches it. Goes, oh. oh, she misses the easy bunny. You know, Hinton did a little clap there. I think it got, I think it got to James. We used to do that back in the day in the playground. <laughs> Pereira kicks it over to Richardson, 4-3, no good. Long rebound by Rivera. Rivera has a two-on-one. You know she's going to scoot it to James. Back to Rivera, the lay-in. Oh, oh, what a block. We got to finish there. What a block by Richardson. Cope. Oh. There it is. Nice in the corner. Here. Nice composure. Katera James with a soft touch. Bristol keeps it alive and stays with it and gets the They had some time. Gets there. the two points. What was Spring Tech doing on defense? Three pointer, no good. Rebounded by Coat. I like this game. Yeah. Rivera going to the basket off the nice. glass and in. 41 to 32. Timeout on the floor. Springfield will call a timeout. Bristol with their largest lead of the half. Two minutes and seven seconds to play. And I think we'll just keep it right here. Why not? Bristol, Bristol definitely got the momentum right now. Keep pushing, getting back on defense. I like what I see. Yeah, there's something about the, um, there's just something about their, like, energy today. I think they know they're playing for the third spot in the playoffs. And Spring Tech, you know, they're out of it, so they're not really as playing for much. But this game's on a line yeah, for Bristol. Too. But you still have pride. Yes. And then you know you still you know you're still building. Yeah, you can definitely see that with him. And his, uh, you're still trying to win. Yeah. And you didn't, you didn't drive three hours for nothing. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I All right, don't know. So I just think uh, Bristol has a little bit more energy this game. A little more fight in them. Well, it's sophomore night. No, we got some. You know, yeah. we got some. Uh, we got some prominent people in the house. How about Lucy Cabral, our own Lucy Cabral, with a great rendition of the Star Spangled Banner. Like I said, we have prominent people in the yeah. house. Very great <laughs> job. 41 to 32, under two minutes to play here. Seems like In the pressure cooker, in Fall River. Bishop Conley High School. Oh, I don't think Coat was looking for that pass. And Rivera telegraphed that one, going back the other way. The floor general for STCC. And um, say a foul? I'm not exactly sure what the call is. I even, we even get get, the, get get started there. They haven't told us anything. Think it's a secret? 
Yeah. Well, nonetheless, <laughs> clock is running. Only three team, well, three team fouls for the Bayhawks, and no team fouls for the visiting Rams. So not a lot of fouls in this one. No. Again, Bristol doing a lot better job playing defense on the defensive end today. They're not allowing no space. Nice Another shot, steal, Rivera. Rivera. Going to going up. Oh. I counted three steals so far for Rivera. She's definitely getting done on the defensive side. I was going to say, yeah, she's got a few steals. And um, the Rams got the ball, and then they traveled, mm -hmm. went to the ground. So it's going to stay Bristol basketball. Minute 17 to play in the second quarter. You can tell uh, your coach telling her to move in. They got to get it inside to Hurley more. Yeah. You can, you can see she's asking for Three it. Three-pointer from the top. James almost nice. with another bounce there. Rivera, nice job. Nice. It looks like. Abby Hurley. It looks like uh, for two. Hurley and Chopper are doing working on the boards and let James throw it up. And they she don't make it, then they get the rebound and throw it back in. Well, I think they've definitely dominated the boards overall. Cross-court pass. Hinton. The nice. three is good. It looks effortless coming out of her hand. And they're within eight. 45 seconds to play in the quarter. 43-35. Chopper puts up the floater. It's good. Nice, nice touch, touch there by uh, Chopper. I believe Chopper has about eight, eight or ten in this first half. Nice crossover. Going through, weaving in and out. Ooh. Jumper from the elbow out the glass. Rebounded by Abby Hurley. Man, I respect Hinton's game. And she's bothered by... Number 25. Looks like uh, this might be the last possession here, 24 seconds. Yep. Bristol can play for the uh, the last shot. You can see Rivera's here in the half. Time. They had their largest lead of the game, 45-35, 10 point lead. Chopper at the free throw line, and they're gonna call a travel. Gonna put that ball to the floor. Chopper's not too sorry about that one. I think she's doing a better job than she was beginning this game going to the basket. I like the offense by Bristol. They're flashing, flashing a player high to the free throw line, and that's a three-pointer by Pereira. Way off the mark, and that's going to do it. Rivera with a last desperate effort there to try to get it up there. Appreciate that. Like All right, and it is halftime, 45 to 35. It is halftime here on sophomore night. Bayhawks have the lead. I want to thank our Facebook audience for joining in on our live stream. Appreciate it. Stay tuned for second half action in just a little bit here on FRC Media, your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. Hey, Marshall drains that. Marshall's like, How about her offensive confidence as of late? Marshall's like, let me get on that uh, score. And well, who are the leading scorers in the first half? Well, we have James with 17 points for Bristol Community College. Skin it done at the rim. Hurley and Rivera both got 10 points. And for Spring Tech, you got uh, Hinton with a whooping 15 points, three threes. And going into the lane there is Pereira for two. Okay, so Katera mm -hmm. James leading all scores for Bristol with 17. Rivera crossing over into the paint, puts it up with the left. Ooh. Nice attempt there. She usually gets that. Rivera, nice dribbling, getting into the lane. The floater gets nice. it to go. Good job. She's like, if I don't get it the first time, I'll get it the second. Marshall doing a good job hustling on the other end. You can always count Marshall to hustle. How about Marshall in her three-point range as of late? She's been able, she's been um, putting that on exhibit because she's definitely the last couple games. She's definitely been working on it. Seen a little bit uh, good job by game, so. Good job by Hurley on the defensive end, putting the hands up. Cross-court pass, Pereira for three from the wing, no good. Long rebound, Richardson. Oh, cut. Yeah, she stepped out of bounds. And she steps out of bounds. I was going to say, she caught herself underneath the basket, and then she steps out of bounds. Looks like uh, that, uh, Spring Tech's trying to get Pereira more involved in offense. Realizing they can't all, uh, rely on him. Well, Pereira Smart. can hit from the outside. Oh, good job there. Smart little play. James with the handle. Marshall catches it in the corner. I think she rushed that shot, goes yeah. after it. Hurley and Richardson have a little tussle, and it's going to stay. No, it's spring tech ball. 
Spring nope. Tech is even wondering, like, it's really our ball? <laughs> I like, uh, it looks like Curly's asking it for more on offensive to get her the ball more. She wants to become more involved. Here's Pereira. Ooh, almost a travel there. Sams over Hurley, but too strong. Rams come up with it. Three pointer by Hinton, that quick nice. release. Four threes. She catches it and she puts it up so fast. That's a quick release that Hinton. Has a handful of threes in this one. 50 to 40. Hurley gets double teamed at the elbow. Marshall for three. Ooh, that did not look and pretty. Had the open look. Might have been a little bit out of her range. Yeah. That was a deep three. Looked like it slipped out of her hands a little bit. I like a. Coming up with a half court trap. Bristol definitely good looking. Um, very quick in their rotation. Sam's with a little short jumper, no good. Rebound nice. and put up and in by number 24. That was a nice contested, uh, contested by Hurley there. Just, you got to respect those plays. Just able to still get it in. James couldn't get it to go. Spring Here's tech rushing up the, up the floor. Pereira swings it in the corner to who else? Hinton for three, oh, and she is getting going. Five, Five three-pointers three for her. You gotta, you gotta, you can't get, you have to suffocate her on the third three-point line there. Can't give her no space. Yeah, you gotta protect that three-point line. She gets that three-point shot off very quickly. Harley's asking for it. Rivera, the floater, oh, short. Man. Harley's waiting for it to come to her. She has to go after it more. But yeah. they should have looked for her inside. Bristol has to stay composed. Pereira swings it to, sh oh, nice, nice little play. pass there. And uh, Coach Hanley's going to call a timeout. Nice pass there by Hinton to get it to Alika Sams. It's already a three-point game. Hinton's definitely getting them back into this game. Six minutes, a little bit over six minutes left in the quarter, 6-19. All right, 50-47. to 47. We're going to take a break here. Here at Bishop Conley High School. We'll be right back. I always knew I wanted to go to college. I just didn't know how or when. Bristol gave me the flexibility to balance work, family life, and the things I love to do. I was able to transfer and get a bachelor's degree in the field I am passionate about. Bristol helped me so I can help others. Working as a mentor and a coach, I know I'm making a difference. And I'm able to show my kids and others the value of a college education. It's never too late. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. Welcome back, everybody. Time out on the floor, Jay Hanley. Jay Hanley uh, calling time out for, for the Bayhawks as the uh, the Rams from Springfield on a 7-0 run. Two three-pointers yeah. by uh, Brianna Hinton, who is on fire. putting on a clinic. Yeah, you could t he's definitely not seeing what he looked. Uh, he they're, not getting, they're not getting back defensively enough and just allowing too much space. Hands taking advantage. Yeah, they're going to get back to um, protecting the three-point line, protecting the perimeter. I know they're worried about interior defense, but you cannot give space to a, to a shooter like that. Here's Chopper. Chopper going up, puts it up, and in. Nice. Abby Chopper coming in. Chopper's doing a lot better uh, around the rim than she was doing at the beginning of the game. Chopper in double figures. Hinton crossing over, getting into the lane. Nice dish inside to number 24, Merced. Chopper's in a nice uh, Option off the bench. Scored 15 points last game off the bench for them. They definitely need it. Well, she's been a starter for them as well. Rivera cross court to Marshall. Marshall looking to drive and going to be a blocking foul. Going to be a foul on the floor on the drive. Just a three point lead. Bristol had a had as large as a 10 point lead in this one. Oh, Marshall to Hurley puts it up and nice. in. Nice find by Marshall. Good cut to the basket. They have a size. Dive into the basket as Hurley for two. They have a size advantage there. They got to take, take advantage of it more. Definitely got to. Hinton getting caught up and stolen by Marshall. Good job by Marshall to get into the passing lane. Darting to the basket. Oh, no. Ooh. I thought it was going to go in. Got to use the glass there. I thought, um, and, same. And uh, Bristol will lose possession. We just saw the same problem back to back. Hinton started off nice and just looked like forced it like there with the pass and Marshall started nice going up for the fast break and just forced it, throwing it up out there at the end. Yeah, she should have 
slow down a little bit to put that about the glass. Pereira finds a crease in the defense, kicks it to the corner. Hinton at the top. Guarded by Chopper right now. From the top of the key, no good. We're going to try to put more size on Hinton. Here's James. James stops at the elbow. Ooh. Follow through, no good. And it's going to be Rams basketball. James knows she, she James wants that one back, but she can't put her head down right now. She, they need her scoring. Got to move on to the next play. Halfway through this third quarter already, Bristol not showing the offensive continuity that they did in the first half. Pereira looking to drive, goes by Rivera. Contact, Rivera gets a steal. Another steal. Oh, steal, oh, Rivera spinning in the lane. Nice pass. Oh, goodness gracious, you got to make that, Amaya. What a beautiful pass there by Rivera. Marshall couldn't finish at the rim. Here's Hinton. Hinton deep from three. Drains oh, it. Wow. Six, Six threes. threes for Hinton. 54, 51, 52. Bristol. She has Chopper. Three pointer. That would have been huge, but that ball's no good. There's a lid on that basket right now for Bristol. Hinton for three and again. She makes, oh. and, if, she, uh, if she would have made it, this I think the this, bench would have went crazy. Yeah, the, this Bristol crowd was holding their breath there. Crossing over, James kicks it to the corner. Rivera, oh. the three-pointer. No good. Off the top, it looked like it went off the top of the backboard. Yeah. yeah. Jump ball. A lot of jump balls this game. Yeah, referee calls jump ball, and it's going to be in the possession of the, of the Bayhawks. Bayhawks. Abby Chopper goes out. India Coat will come in, number 10, for the Bayhawks. Inbounding Marshall. Coat right there. You get it. Oh, right back inside to Marshall. Good job there. Nice eyes by there by Corton. Finding Marshall go right under the basket. That was perfect. Yes. Catching the um, catching the Rams sleeping underneath the basket. Marshall inbounds the basketball. Smart play. And it was all alone. Yeah, sneak, it was all alone sneak the, the way basket. Back in yeah, she snuck in there and good job to make herself available. Good offensive awareness by Amaya Marshall, who's she's had a little bit more of that, like I said, offensive awareness yeah. where she's actually, you know, um looking looking to score. Saw her looking at, looking earlier. to cut to the basket. Yeah, hit yeah, hit the three pointer and hits both free throws there. She's definitely stepping up offensively for this team. Everybody has to. Yes. 56 52. The floater in the lane going over Hurley. Ooh. Loose ball on the floor. Coming away with it is KJ. Marshall diving for it there. Tommy points. <laughs> Megan points. Yeah. I'm going to make that a thing. Oh. And will we get a call here? I think we have an, oh, maybe Foul. a defensive uh, push. What do we have here? I think a number three. Like this game, uh, game they was might going have called fast, a foul on Alika Sams. This game seemed like it was going fast, but slowing down here. It's three minutes, a little over three minutes to play yeah, this, this quarter. Third quarter is flying by. The ball knocked away, and it's going to be Bristol basketball. Knocked away by the Rams. Who got a hand in there? Was it Pereira? Yeah. Somebody got a hand in there? Number three, Pereira. 3-12 to play in the quarter. Marshall looking inbound. Finds Rivera coming to the basketball. James, not being as aggressive, goes to the lane this time. Got the and foul. she'll go to the line for two. She needs to do a lot more of that. Bristol's been kind of sitting back in the laurels in this third third quarter. Not as aggressive, playing a little more yeah, conservative. A little bit more conservative. You get an attack. Well, yeah, they only have a four-point lead right now. They got. It's not like they're up by 15. They, can't, oh, they just got to be more aggressive. Yeah, you can't afford to lose this one. Bristol coming into this game. 12 and 7, only two more games remaining on the schedule. So you got to finish. You got to get win number 13 here. Finish off strong. Yeah, going to the playoffs. Yeah, try to finish with 14 to 15 wins. That should get you the number three seed in Region 21. Yes. And that'd be that would be excellent. And they already broke the record for uh, Bristol's women's uh, team wins. But why not build yeah, up on it? Yeah, you get it. And Bristol will extend their lead back up to six. So that's a good sign. Going into the lane, Alika Sams that goes around easy. Hurley. Score it. That lane was way too big. I'm sorry, that big. was Essence Richardson. That lane was bigger than the Far River lanes. 
Cubs. <laughs> oh, nice little India Co with the dribbling today. Rebounded by Hurley. Oh, it's going to be enough. Second attempt nice. gets it to go. Good job by Abby Hurley to stick with it after the first initial miss and puts it up and in on the second attempt off, off the offensive rebound. Nice job keeping her hands there. James almost got the ball back. James, uh, James had five steals last game. She can play defense. Nice dish there. She's not Hinton's going to have to take it back out to a Cuddy Pereira underneath. That was a Hail Mary. Good job for her just to get that ball, get that shot mm -hmm. off underneath there. Especially with Hurley yeah. down there. Rivera going all the no, way into the lane. And she gets it knocked away. That speed. Rivera's actually uh, right, under, right under James for um, one of the top Point. five uh, scores in the in the conference? In the conference. In the region? In the region. Oh, Coates all there all by herself. Where'd she come from? But misses the easy bunny. Misses the easy and excuse, layup attempt. Excuse me, not scoring, scoring percentage. Which is still pretty good. Shooting nice. percentage? Yeah, shooting percentage. Hurley finds her outlet. Rivera going up. Oh, a mm -hmm. little bit too strong. And it's going to be Springfield basketball. She has the burst, but a little, less than a little too much. But usually she has the touch on yeah. underneath the basket there, though. Well, there's definitely have been players stepping up in the place. Choppers, who's out right now. But you got Hurley in there. You got James. Crystal in zone. That three-pointer, no good. Hinton with the miss. It's going to stay here. It's going to stay Rams basketball. That ball goes out of bounds off Bristol. Looks like a... You can hear that Bristol Coach looking Hanley. a little flat on D. Looks like they're just standing around. Coach Hanley, Pereira for three, no good. Oh, and Colt loses it. You can hear Hanley's not happy. He's telling his uh, team, let's go. Well, Bristol not as sharp, not as focused, and definitely not moving as well as they did in the first half. Yeah, it seems like they got, they're a little too comfortable right now. Look a little stagnant. In the corner, off the inbound. Hinton, no good. That was a close one. Marshall just going to let that one go out of bounds. You cannot let her leave her open like that. She has more threes than a Chuck E. Cheese birthday party. <laughs> more threes than a Chuck, Chuck E. Cheese? Cheese. It's a reference, like, you know, three-year-old's birthday party. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know, I get know. you. you I smell me? what you're cooking. Marshall underneath. Oh, nice find to Hurley. Ooh, like nice interior pass there. Like Marshall got pushed down. And Hurley will go to the line for two. Oh, I thought they were calling out Marshall. It looks like they uh, called it for Hurley. Now, was Hurley on the shot? Marshall had the pass. Yeah, Marshall got pushed down. That though. was a good pass there by Marshall from the other side of the paint to find Hurley. Good interior passing, and Hurley misses the first free throw, however. One thing that uh, I would like to see Hurley work on, she's doing better on the boards, but I would like to see her work on more on the uh, free throws. Because if, if she's going on inside... <laughs> She needs, to, she needs to hit those free throws. Hurley misses both free throws. Richardson loses it. Oh, nice job yeah. by Rivera. Pass by Marshall and gets knocked away yeah. and losing it off her foot. I believe Hinton lost it off her foot. Yeah, Spring Tech saw that coming with uh, that pass to Chopper. I thought it went up. It uh, should be Bristol basketball. I thought it went. Uh, what? No, they don't even know. How did that happen? It looked like from this point that it went off Hinton's foot. I guess not. Under a minute to play. Actually, 45 seconds to play here in the third quarter. Bristol with a six-point, holding on to a six-point lead. James trying to get around the pick by Ortiz. Three-pointer oh, by no. Richardson. Oh, no good. That was almost a nice rebound by Hinton, but Hurley did not let that happen. It's not in the pressure cooker. <laughs> well, Hurley did a good job of... Uh, Securing that, getting that rebound, and she's going to the line. Yeah, we'll see if she can go to the free throw line and knock some free throws down this time. Yeah, she just you got to start making them. It's capable, but has to be more consistent. Thirty-three seconds left. Got yeah. maybe enough for like maybe two more possessions for Bristol. They could get the ball back. <laughs> Bristol gonna tr gonna knock down their free throws here mm -hmm. down the stretch. I'm looking six point six point lead. I'm looking for a spring tech to uh, go faster on the offensive end. Try to get two for one. 
And Hurley misses both free throws, and there's a push. Only two team fouls for the Bayhawks, so they're okay. Five team fouls for the for the Rams, Spring, Springfield. They um, Bristol in the bonus. Katera coming up to, to guard Brianna Hinton. She's following her around. I'm very surprised here. They're, they're taking their time. Good job double team in there. Pereira goes around. Rivera puts up the left. No good. Rebounded by Hurley. Hang. Bristol can get a shot. Hang was trying Rivera to get open looking there. to push. Seven on the clock. Rivera into the paint. Kicks it to the corner for Coat. Jumper nice. is good. Nice job by Rivera penetrating. Kicking it back out to India. Coat. And Coates had a, she's a, had a couple good shots there today. She's definitely coming through. A couple through. good heads up plays there by India Coat coming off the bench. And, nice and Bristol up 62 to 54. We'll be right back with fourth quarter action here on FRC Media, your Bayhawks broadcasting network. I always knew I wanted to go to college. I just didn't know how or when. Bristol gave me the flexibility to balance work, family life, and the things I love to do. I was able to transfer and get a bachelor's degree in the field I am passionate about. Bristol helped me so I can help others. Working as a mentor and a coach, I know I'm making a difference. And I'm able to show my kids and others the value of a college education. It's never too late. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. Yeah. All right, welcome back here to Bishop Conley High School. We're getting set for fourth quarter action. Bristol doing a good job of, uh, you know, maintaining here. They were, they um, they allowed, they allowed um, uh, Megan. They allowed Springfield to get within two. It was 54 to 52, but a great job by Bristol to um, to extend that lead and get it back out to within eight. Because yes. it looked like the Rams were, you know, was the on the on the doorstep there, knocking on the door. We definitely put their uh, foot back to the, on the gas pedal there. And it looks like they're doing it more as a team effort. Everyone's uh, getting opportunities there to score. And defensively, they're not, they're not getting, letting hit and get nothing. Past couple minutes. Yeah, past couple minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just put that in there. Going in. Strong Richardson. Uh, short. Cross-court pass. Ooh, coming out of nowhere was Brianna Hinton to catch that. Now Richardson puts it up off the glass and in. I'm sorry, it's Alika Sams. I'm getting her and Richardson confused there. 62 to 56. Marshall, ooh. And they're going to call for steps. Good thought by Marshall with the up fake. Uh, I like how James is playing defensive on Hinton. Looks like they changed. Um, Chopper was on her earlier, struggled a little bit, and James is not allowing well, him to get no space. Yeah, well, James should definitely be the um, – that should definitely yeah. be the matchup, her on Brianna Hinton. Well, she's lead, she was leading steals uh, last game, five. Rivera right behind her, four. And Bristol in 2-3 zone, 15 on the shot clock. Bristol, good defensive possession here. Katera all over Hinton, and Hinton had to force that one up from the top of the key. Can't get it to go. Here's Rivera. See if they look Hurley inside. Rivera, Marshall kicks it to the corner. James with the, using the up fake, and they're going to call a blocking yeah. foul. And they're going to call it a number 24. Nice job by James there, going to the basket, getting the first, contact. First foul on number 24, Merced. Chopper coming into the game for Rivera. And Rivera needs a break. Yeah. She hasn't had too many breaks today. It will be interesting. It'll be probably KJ will probably run right. the offense. Probably the offense will probably go through her it might, running from the point. Yeah, it might go a little slower, but. Oh, nice pass. Chopper was wide open from the elbow. It was way off. Yeah. And he rushed it a little bit. Herrera kicks it to the corner. You got to get there. Hinton way off this time. It's like a hit. Chopper slow to get over there. Knocked oh, away by nice Hinton. Nice play by Hinton. Hinton. Oh, nice oh, pass there nice. underneath to number 21 there, Hofty. Nice no look pass by Hinton. Making up for that missed three. Yeah, great hustle there by Brianna Hinton. Chopper gets it inside. That's what that's the matchup you want right yes. there. And Hurley can't connect. She, 
flushed it maybe a little bit. Not as much composure as she had in the beginning of the game. But I like how Hinton's playing. You no, know, she's not offensively. She slowed down a little bit uh, with scoring, but she's making the right passes, sharing with her teammates. Yeah, Brianna Hinton for STCC, number five. I mean, she definitely does everything well. Kicking it back out. Katera James is wide open for three. Can't get it to fall. Rivera puts it up off the glass. Oh, can't get it to drop. Well, it looks like uh, Rivera didn't get much of a break. She just came, she came in next uh, next play. That's Got probably all she game. needs, just a little breather. They need, her in the, they need her in the game. They need her speed. Yes. Rivera. Puts the floater up off the glass. Almost. Bristol can't find the bottom of the bucket. Hurley, and she'll go to the line again. And Hurley, she gets fouled there. But Hurley's struggling from the floor right now. They have as to. She, uh, um, as she's been failing to um, capitalize on those offensive rebound putback attempts. Yeah, they have to start taking advantage of this opportunity. Four-point game still. Seven, seven minutes and 44 seconds left in this quarter. Yeah, four. Yeah, exactly. Four point game. You got to get it inside to Abby Hurley, and she oh, makes a nice. free th makes a free throw here. Prove us wrong. <laughs> Seven forty four to go in the fourth. Take your time and make them, Abby, nice. and she does this time. Good comeback. Way to shut after, us up. After missing the previous four, she hits both there to extend the lead back to six. Nice. SEC in the motion motion offense from the wing. Hinton, and she's gone cold now. Rebounded by Hockey, oh. stolen by Marshall. Marshall saw that all the way. Marshall going to the rack, and she'll lose it. Off her knee. Ball control there towards the end. Amaya, Amaya needs to um, compose herself. She needs to get herself under control when she's in the open court. Nobody running with her, though. Well, it seemed like, yeah, it seemed, to be fair, it looks like Sam was right behind her. Maybe that, that uh, made her a little nervous, but... Got to keep a composure there. But I think instead of darting to the basket, she needs to Look for the hold up and. Let the offense is set. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't think her game is in the open floor. No. You can see that earlier. She tried to pass to the chopper, but it got stolen. Yeah, sometimes you're just going to play a little bit within yourself, and there's a foul call. It's going to be on Amaya Marshall. That's going to be her third. Seems like uh, Spring Tech has slowed down their offense, just looking for the right play. It's only a six-point game, so they're not trying to waste possession. Yeah, well, there's a, well, there's a, yeah. a lot of time left in this game. They, they, they're not they trying don't to need waste. to rush shots. They no. don't need to play hero ball. Make they every can, possession count. Yeah, they could try to manufacture points. Second free throw was good. First one was missed. Coming up on seven to play. Sophomore night. Oh, oh that ball, Marshall needs to save that before it goes over, uh -huh. and Hinton comes out of nowhere. Hinton darting to the basket, lays it in. James was right open there for a three, uh, for corner three, and she's yeah. actually, she's actually number one, I believe, number one for three-point percentage. Yeah, Bristol with some sloppy turnovers. Rivera going to the lane and just loses control of it, and the Rams what? The have a chance to pull within one, possibly tie it on this next possession. Well, the problem was Bristol was playing team basketball. Now they're kind of playing me basketball. Just whoever goes to the basket just throws it up. You have to pass it side to side yeah. for the open. open I like play. the I like the ball movement that the um that the BayHawks possessed in the first half. Because we saw everyone scoring. Now it looks like everyone's struggling. That well, there, there doesn't see there doesn't seem to be a plan no. on the offensive end right now. In the first half, you've seen Bristol. Always flashing that player high at the free throw line. There was always people open in the perimeter. Underneath the basket, oh, wow. Sams cannot connect on the pass from Hinton. Another missed layup by Sams. She has to convert there. Key possession here for Bristol. Up by three. Trying to extend that lead. Driving baseline. Oh, nice, nice try there by James. Got in front of the player, never looked back. Yeah, nails it. And uh, Bristol needs their top scorer. One of the top scorers in Region 21. Hinton puts that one up. Can't get it to fall. We're already over James for James, over a 20-point game. Yeah, she's been quiet, though, in the second half. First half, 17 points. Marshall catches up the free throw line. Ooh, I'm surprised they didn't call for a travel there. James gets into the lane. James with a putback. Gets it back. Blocked. Puts it up wow. and in. 
blocked by Sams. She had more chances than some of you guys' exes. <laughs> Hinton crosses over, puts up the floater. Oh, Can't get wow. it to fall. Rebound by Hurley. She cooled off a little bit here. Oh, oh nice deal. Coat loses it off the turnover. Rebounded by Chopper. Spring tag's rushing a little bit um, yeah. on the win after complimenting them a little bit ago about the composure. Bristol needs to slow it down here. Marshall for three. That's not the shot you want. That's a bad shot. You can't take no. that shot right now. You're up. You're up seven. Yeah, that's too early in the shot clock to take that shot. Yeah, you're up seven. You don't need that shot right now. It's wide open, but you either get to take that, you either get to dribble that in and take a higher percentage shot, or you get to, you know, I know look for look for something else. I know she hit one earlier, but you got to pass yeah. that up. Yeah, she's got the Marcus Smart thing going. You hit a couple, <laughs> and then you try to take twenty more. Jumper no. from the free throw line, no good. Hurley with another rebound. You know what's she must have double digits by now. Yeah. Going to her right, James. To a cutting coat. And coat. Go I nice believe. Game. Yeah, she's having a nice little game here. A little quiet, but she she uh makes the little plays. You gotta wonder if Coach Jay Henley has told his players, hey, listen, you know, attack. You get you know, you get you get your chance. Don't be afraid to take a shot. Don't be afraid to, you know call for the yeah. basketball. Don't be afraid to well, you know, cut to the basket. Yeah. You know. Definitely seems this game more uh, more players are getting involved off offensively. But yeah, it's, it's not just about yeah. one or two players or three players. Although I would like them to see be uh, more consistent. Oh, I don't think she called glass on that one, but the second free throw is good. Uh, and oh, go ahead. Bristol back up by nine. Here's Pereira driving on KJ. Somehow gets in between Chopper and KJ. And Marshall comes away with the rebound. James bringing it up. With a bear out. Yep, here's KJ. And Bristol, just like that, up by nine again. James back to her right, gets the contact. And she goes into number one, Elika Sams. You know what I like to see more consistently from the Bayhawks, Rivero, as Rivero comes back in the game? I would like to see them move around more offensively. It seems like they're just staying still too much. I well, definitely that's how it's been in the second half. Yeah. I definitely feel like on the offensive end they've been a little bit more stagnant. And like you said, only one or two players have, you know, touched the ball and are just driving to the basket. Yeah. When I feel like in the first half more people touched it, um, you know, they had Abby Chopper flashing high or – you know, Rivera was penetrating and definitely have to move. move definitely more, more variety. And now all of a sudden, it was 64 to 61. Bristol on an eight point as as Hitton goes to the lane. Bristol on a 8-0 run. Nice play by Rivera. Now on Hitton put uh for that putback. Swan it down there. Bristol needs to close out now. 3:49 to go from the wing. Three pointer, no good. By Merced. This is different. Chopper bring it up. Thought Chopper was going to bring it up. Here's Rivera. Rivera puts up that floater. She likes that shot. And it's going to go out of bounds. It'll be off Bristol. 335 to play. Bristol now with an 11 point lead. 72 to 61. A little over three minutes. Crossing over Pereira. Kicking it back out. Merced. Probably should have took that shot, driving. Oh, nice defense there. Abby Chopper looked like she got a hand on that. Chopper. Rivera oh. into the lane. Oh, the dish off oh. Hurley. Chopper can't save it, and it's going to be Rams basketball. That was a little missed opportunity there. I feel like Chopper had had the speed there to get uh, to get in front of the defense. They hit that early in the game. Oh, no, Rivera, Rivera had the right – she had the right – um. Thought process and hit Hurley in the hands. You gotta, you gotta catch that ball yeah. and lay it in. I thought a chopper probably had the easier shot though. Under three minutes to play, Hinton crossing over, puts it up oh, off wow. the glass and in. That's How a big shot there by Hinton. How did she make that? She's uh, uh, teams definitely look for her to heat up again. I don't know, but she's she's done it all by herself, single-handedly to keep her team within striking distance. Marshall, chopper. Chopper took the lane, can't connect. Hinton, going back the other way. Nice pass underneath there to Sams. 
gets it to go. Nice job by Sands, pumping no. it up for fake. I'm sorry, Essence Essen Richardson. Oh, nice play by Richardson. They look like Richardson. twins. They look like twins out there. Marshall kicks it back out to Chopper. Coming up on two minutes to play. KJ trying to post up. Chopper's three is way off. And tracking it down was Richardson. Brianna hitting for three. Way off, and uh, Marshall. Marshall wants that one back. Yeah, Marshall can't control it. Timeout. 30-second oh. timeout by uh, Spring Tech. All right, so it is a 30-second timeout. 152 to play, so got some time. It's only a it's a seven point lead. This is this isn't over yet by any means. No, it seems it's it's it, it's interesting though when Spring Tech gets uh going, it's because of Hinton. Hinton when Hinton gets going, Spring Tech gets going. For the Bayhawks, when they're not moving around and not playing with team effort, it seems like the offense is very undecisive. Yeah, yeah, I like when Abby Chopper gets Abby Chopper gets into mm -hmm. it and. You know, she's able to, um, you know, she comes up and she flashes up high. And I like when she starts to get aggressive and taking the ball to the basket. Outside shot's not falling for her, but. Yeah, besides hitting, it's not really a three-point game, three-pointer game. Hitting, what, hit six threes besides her. Yeah, for, for Bristol, yeah. they really haven't hit that much no. from the outside. You haven't seen the three-pointers that they no. normally hit. In the first this has been a defensive effort. They've yeah. caused a lot of turnovers. <laughs> A lot They've of fast gotten, breaks. Yeah, a lot of offensive, um, a lot of offensive rebounds. You know, getting second and third chance opportunities, things like that. Yeah. You know, their three point suspects haven't been no. really hitting. Katara James is usually a threat from the outside. She has it connected like she usually does. So yeah, she's a leading uh, three point percentage scorer for uh, the conference. But it's interesting though because James hit one earlier in the first half. And so did uh, Marshall, but other than that, they've been cold from three-point line. Yeah, and they still have a seven-point lead. Minute 52. Richardson back inside to Sams, and you gotta. That's gonna put them within five. A lot of time. Just a five-point lead. Chopper uh, uh, knocked away there. Sams up to Hinton. Oh, oh wow. misses the easy bunny. Wow. Did not expect that for coming from her. Uncharacteristic. She might have heard the footsteps yeah. there. That was about Bristol. Bristol came away with one there. James going to the basket, puts it up. Oh, I thought it was going to be an And she'll go to the line for two. And boy, Bristol's so lucky that Hinton didn't connect in that no. last possession because that would have pulled the Rams within yeah. three. Yeah, they didn't. Um, that was a little sloppy pass there by, uh, by Chopper. To James, James was asking for a three-point line, and uh, Hinton. I'm surprised Hinton didn't take advantage of that. She's been doing that all game. No, well, sometimes the cookie doesn't crumble your way. As the Katera James hits the first free throw. Is that a phrase? Never heard that one before. You never heard that one. Never before? heard of that one before. Oh, you millennials! <laughs> Second free throw. I even know if missed. I'm a millennial though. <laughs> Maybe not technically speaking. 73, 67. Pereira, this is a big possession there by the Rams. On the floor, Pereira loses it. Chopper up to James. Nice James speed has there. a clear pass to the basket, and she'll lay it in. Nice speed there by James, separating herself from the defense. And that might do it. That might be the final nail. 55 seconds left. Eight-point game. 75-67, and that ball goes out of bounds. And Bristol could be looking dead in the face. Well, four-game win streak here, yeah, possibly. She, yeah, Bristol could be looking dead in the face at win number 13. It would put him at 13-7 and seven. here in game number 20 Definitely of the 2019-2020 season. Definitely an impressive season for the women's Bayhawks team. Huge turnaround season. After yeah. only one win last year, they came by a forfeit. Yeah. You can see they, they did, the scouting department deserves a lot of credit. Just able to recruit. The scouting much. department, the coaches, yeah. the athletic department, all around. I mean... You talked about a team last year that didn't win a game. Went through and tremendous changes, coaching, yeah. players, everything. They've had three coaches here in the they've had three coaches here in the last three or four years. And one season they didn't even they didn't feel the team. Family does have some coaching experience though with the but three years ago team. they didn't they did not feel the team. Yeah. 
definitely got some more players. Even I'm surprised when Fortnite came out, they still got brought in Chopper to uh to try to help replace her. But definitely uh it's not a deep team, but it's a solid team. That's six get uh get contribute contribute from six players. Yeah, well they get contributions from all yeah. from all their players. Seventy six sixty seven. Big win here on Sophomore Light. Looks that way. Probably gonna be the last possession here. After this free throw. Our free throws. Carly coming back in for the last play of the game. Probably to grab a board. Chopper coming out. 76-67. Nine point lead. At the line right now is Alika Sams, number one. Second, I mean, first free throw is good. You can still hear. That's probably why they're so successful this season. You can hear Haley, um, Coach Haley, communicating yeah. with his team. Well, there's definitely been more of a structure and a, and a plan this year and a spirit, more of a spirit about them as a as the Rams go up to double team James and well, James told um, draw the you know get the foul there. James told South Coast today earlier this season that. The team just has great chemistry. and You can see them communicating on the floor. Um, sometimes they need to move around more, like we said before. But um, there's something definitely to build on going to the playoffs so they can keep working on that. Definitely will give them an advantage. Sometimes I feel like the Doesn't smaller hurt. roster. Yeah, the smaller roster, you play more with you know, you know, play more with the six players. Everyone plays together. So it can be, be seven. benefit. This seven. Is the seven. Yeah. The magic seven. 78-69, Pereira kicks it back out. Sams drives to the basket. Can't get it to fall, James. And uh, Bristol will hold it. And uh, be the it. Rams aren't going to bother to foul. The final seconds will tick off the clock. Nice and game that will do Bay it. Hawks. There she goes, 78-69. The women in Bristol Community College Bayhawks team with their fourth straight victory and win number 13 on the season. Who's the player of the game? Well, the Bristol Community College, the Bayhawks player of the game. Goodness yeah. gracious. You got to it to give it to Katera James. Yes. You feel like you can give it to her almost every game, but she's the leading scorer here tonight. Had uh, 17 points in the first half. And, um, I mean, there's a couple players you could probably give it to for honorable mention, like Abby Chopper, Maya Marshall for her hustle, yeah. but even Atia, Atia Rivera yes. in the first half. I but just feel like James did great defensively, especially when she got changed onto uh, their leading scorer there for the for Spring Tech. Abby Hurley was pretty good, too. Yeah. But you're going to give it to Katera yeah. James. She's our Bayhawks player of the game, so we're going to wrap this one up. All right, stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, on our on our Facebook page as the Bristol men will be in action, all right, here in uh, just a little bit. So stay tuned. So for Dave Cardoza and Megan Holden, you've been watching Bayhawks basketball here on FRC Media, your Bayhawks broadcasting network. Stay tuned for the men's Bayhawks team.